Glendale residents are being told to prepare for a chance of losing power. Good evening. Welcome to Fox 7 News at 5. I'm Alex Michaels. And I'm Marlon Teos here for Christine Devine. Team coverage on this ongoing heat wave. We have Rick Dickert tracking your weekend forecast. And Hal, Hal Eisner, he will share how high school football players are staying safe. Let's start, though, with Phil Schumann live in Glendale, where people are being told to expect blackouts if they don't conserve. Phil. And that's the message, conserve to try to avoid these rolling blackouts, Alex and Marla. As we've been saying, with the flex alert, don't use the air conditioner. Don't use large appliances like the washer and dryer. Turn off your pool equipment if you're lucky enough to have a pool. Other than that, try to stay cool. Once again, triple digits. This is Glendale. The key words here, power conservation. That will help avoid the very real possibility of forced rolling power outages. I just turn on AC and stay home as much as possible. Camelia Panosian of Glendale, picking up a lot of water with some other supplies, has definitely heard the message. I'm trying to not get a high energy bill, so I'm trying my best to turn off the light. Well. I recycle, I try to use as little electricity as possible, I drive as little as possible. Well, every summer, this September is usually the hottest month. Then it'll cool off in October, start cooling off. But in the meantime, we just got to deal with it. Air conditioners, pool equipment, large appliances, typically the biggest residential energy users. Glendale isn't necessarily different than any other place in dealing with the power demands, but they are being proactive in getting the conservation word out. Again, if everybody does their part, Phil, we'll, we should be fine. Steve Nersesian is with Glendale Water and Power with almost 100,000 customers. He hopes people will cooperate so they don't have to shut things down if demand exceeds supply. This is happening all over the uh, western states, so it, everybody's in the same boat. Through social media, through every channel that we can send the message out there, help us, and that's what we're trying to pitch. The state is buying power, but so are others, so it's likely not going to be enough. And yes, we're used to the heat, but this is excessive, almost unprecedented, a threat not just to the power grid, but to people's health. Not everyone can have Ara Arsenian's attitude. We always uh, complain we never satisfied. When it's hot, it's hot. Oh, we, it's hot. When it's rain, it's rain. We never com like be uh, comfortable. When it's hot, it's too hot. When it rains, it rains too much, Alex and Marla. 95 degrees here in Glendale at the 5 o'clock hour. Fortunately, we had no reports of any power outages or forced power outages here or any place else in the Southern California area. But, of course, this is going to continue for the next few days. So super hot temperatures, the third year of a drought, can't afford to buy a house, violent crime. Enjoy your Labor Day weekend. I'm live in Glendale. On that note, Phil Schumann, thank you so much. Still nice.